Hi, I'm Bob, Kilo Charlie 7, Golf Tango, Quebec. Welcome to Get Your Comms Up, where we give you the tools to communicate when no one else can. We're going to talk about a few of the basic menu features and the ones that you really need to understand to get started using your radio. There's about 40 menu settings in the Baofengs, and most of them are dealing with repeater operation and tones. And that's really not something that you'll need to know if you have your radio programmed by a local person who knows uh, what the local repeaters are and puts all that in there using uh, the chirp programming system. You won't have to enter that by hand. So the menu settings we're going to talk about today deal with changing the voice that the radio uses if you don't like your radio talking to you and also dealing with the beep. If you don't like your buttons beeping when you push them, I'll show you how to turn that off today too. And then these radios have your A and your B bank, um, where to listen to two frequencies at one time. However, from the factory that doesn't come turned on, they, it shows up on the screen, but you can't actually listen to the two frequencies at the same time the way it comes set up. So when you first turn a radio on, so you'll see this one currently is talking to me in Chinese. So to adjust the menus, you come up here to your menu button and you push it. And right here, the flashing zero, that's what menu you're on. You use your up and down arrow keys to scroll through the different menus. We're gonna to go to menu seven, is where we're gonna start. TDR, this is the dual receive. So this is where you listen to the A and the B bank at one time. To change a menu, you push menu again. So your arrow key drops down here to the bottom. And then my up and down arrow keys now will toggle that on or off. And I want TDR on. So menu seven, TDR on. I push menu again to save it by putting that arrow up to the top. And I'm gonna continue scrolling through. Beep is the next one. I don't like my keypad beeping at me when I push it. So I'm gonna push menu again, put the arrow key on the bottom, use the up or down arrow key, change that to off. Menu again to save it and now it won't beep. Now when I scroll through, see it's quiet, which is where I like it. Menu 14 is where we're gonna go next. The voice, currently it's set to Chinese. I'm gonna push menu, and it also has English. Okay, I prefer this off, so I'm actually gonna set this one to off as well. Push menu again to confirm it. Next, we are going to go to 21. So we're just going to keep going here to get to... Oh, went too far. Okay, menu 21. This is the dual receipt, or this is how the A and the B band are displayed. Um, if I hop out of the menus here, you'll notice this is frequency, and so is this one, the A and the B band. So what this does, we're going to go change this one. Uh, menu again to change it, and I like having it set to name. I'm going to save this. I'm going to hit exit, and you'll see the difference. So now it gives the name that I've programmed in on the top, and on the bottom is a frequency. I like it set this way because 44. If I go to 44... Okay, so now these are both set to memory channel 44, and you'll notice the top has a name, and the bottom, if that timer wouldn't time out so fast, has a frequency. This is both; These are both exactly the same memory channels, but now if I can tell somebody, you know, hey, I'm on this repeater, and if they're not programmed in, I can go to the same memory channel, top and bottom, and now I have the frequency that I can give them on, on what I'm on in, if uh, they don't have the names programmed into their radio. So that's why I like it set that way on my radio. Uh, 22 is the same. This is um, just for the B bank. And I'm going to leave that set to frequency because that's, that's what I prefer. And we're going to go to 34 is our next memory or uh, menu feature that we're going to change. TDR A and B off. So I'm going to do menu 
I'm going to put it to A. This is like a priority band. So what this means is this top one now is my priority. So if I want this bottom one set to a different memory channel here, if, well, let's go to one that doesn't have interference. If something comes in on this top one, it's going to be the primary. So I'm not going to lose, you know, if this one's talking and something comes in up here, it'll default to that one. And that way I don't get uh, somebody else talking on my secondary band and lose something that's coming in that I really want to hear on bank A. So hopefully that helps. This is the way I like to have my radio set up. You know, again, the voice and the beeps, those are things that are personal preferences. Some people like that, that button to beep when they push it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We post new videos each week. Smash that bell button so you get notified when new videos upload.